Chip Rome with your Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, and you are watching In the Know. Today we are at Geibel Catholic Junior Senior High School, and with me is Nick Bell. Hello, Nick. Hi, Chip. Good to see you. Good to see you again, as always. Nice tie. Thank you. I'm in my music mood today. I know, and the reason he's in the music mood, Nick is actually the producer and director for the upcoming musical, and also a music teacher here at the Correct. school. Correct. What's your 2023 show? Our 2023 show this year is Peter Pan. Wow, that's great. This is your 24th production? 24th production at Geibel. Wow, that's excellent. That's, yeah, that's a lot been, of shows. It's been a great run. It's yeah. been a great run. So when will Peter Pan uh, be performed? Peter Pan is on April 15th and April 16th, 7 o'clock on April 15th, and 2 o'clock on April 16th. We are at Connorsville Area Senior High School this year. And that is new. That is definitely new for us. Yeah, you're usually at the State Theater. Junior yes, Town. and it's exciting, though, to be back here in the community. It'll be the first show, I believe, produced at Connorsville from Geibel, since 1990. Okay. Uh, it's been a tough year for you. It's uh, been a very tough yeah, year. Yeah, lots of things, uh, challenges with dates. The biggest challenge, though, was the amount of kids in the cast. This will be my smallest cast I've had in, since I've been here, and we have 15 in our cast, yeah. and I don't have any high school males. Yeah. Well, I got to see a performance, actually a preview, I guess you would call it, at yes, our Rotary, Rotary meeting, and it was wonderful. So, Thank I mean, the, the kids are very talented. So, I even though uh, they're small but mighty, I guess you they would say. They are definitely small but mighty. We yeah. have a lot of energy in our cast. Yeah, and I can sense that. And, and I know the other Rotarians really enjoyed it, too. I'm so glad. I'm it's, glad. Going, it's going to be a great performance. I hope so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm sure it will be. How, how can people get tickets? So, you're at Connell High School. We are at Connell High School. People can get tickets by coming to the school. Here at Geibel or by calling the school, 724-628-5600 to reserve them, and they can pick them up at the high school. We'll have a few of my parents working a will call, or you could actually just purchase them at the high school the nights of the show. At Connorsville. Yes, so they can purchase them. In advance, them you need to come to Geibel. Advance has to be at Geibel. Don't go to Connorsville. Yeah, and then the, the performance dates, you can actually Correct. pick it up at the door. So, Cost of tickets? Each ticket is $15, and this year we are general admission. Okay. So there won't be any reserve seating this year, so it'll be... Wherever you want to sit, you can sit. Yeah, there's a lot of seating in there. A lot of seating. But they call that festival seating, right? <laughs> it's definitely it's, festival seating. Yeah. Now, we talked about challenges like just getting enough people for the cast, but the production itself, what are some challenges like with music or dancing? Or the production stuff? itself is just, it's a little difficult in the sense that we have to fly. We've okay. never flown at Iowa before, and we will be flying this year, which is a definite challenge for us because mm -hmm. we can't really practice it until we get to Connorsville those few days before the show. Yeah. Talk a little bit about that for people to understand what flying. You're actually going to have the We're going to have cast. Peter Pan will be flying, our Wendy will be flying, and our John and Michael will yeah. be flying. And you, there's a company that you actually hire. That there's that a comes company, in, yes, that comes that in. That does the flying. And they'll come in and they'll hook everybody up, do all the safety checks, and then they'll fly us during the, the yeah. performance. I'm familiar with that. I thought some people may be watching that may not understand Yeah, it's, so. I'm really not that familiar. I'm going to learn a lot about it yeah. this year. So they use some of the rigging, actually, yes, as part of the stage rigging. Yes, they'll have to rigging. use the rigging. Yeah, interesting. That'll be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. And that was one of your challenges, I understand, to schedule them, too. Correct. Yeah. We had an issue with the first company, and then that's what started the conflict with the dates, and that's why we had to move. Okay. Now, production staff, you know, you're the director, but you Correct. have people to help you, too. You want to talk I about that? I have probably one of the best choreographers and also a director in the area, and that's John Wagner, who is the head of the Main Street Theater Company up at Uniontown, does all the summer at the state shows, does productions throughout the year, and has been in New York and several other places where he's performed. He is a fantastic choreographer and he helps me with a lot of other things. Rachel Zabo, who does my acting coaching, she is fantastic with the kids, the kids love her. And uh, Desiree Vittorio, who is a math teacher and a technology teacher here at Geibel, she does my costumes. Yeah. And John's alumni from the school. John is an alumni of 2005. Yeah, so he was in your productions. Uh, when he was in Kiss Me, Kate, and Fame back then. Okay, and now he's coming on to be and one now staff. now he's doing the staff. Yeah, he's helped you for a lot of years, too. He's, he's helped me a lot of years, yes. Yeah. I had his mom as my original choreographer. Okay, wow. And then he took over yeah, for Chris Wagner. Yes. Yeah, interesting. I did not yes. know. I don't, probably knew that, but forgot. Yeah, she was fantastic. Yeah, she, she would have she been. Was I'm fantastic. sure she would have been. Familiar songs. I know there's some songs from Peter Pan. Now, this, this is not the Disney version. This, this is not the Disney version. This is the 1954 Mary Martin version when she was Peter Pan. Okay. But um, I Got a Crow, Neverland, Ugga Wug, Hooks Waltz, Hooks Tarantella, Hooks Tango. Okay. Distant Melody. So there's some really good tunes yeah. in the show. As the kids were singing at Rotary, I, I remembered some of the songs. I'd right. forgotten some of them. I was like, oh, I know this song. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fun show. It's a very fun show. Yeah. The so, young kids will love it. Yeah. So talk about, you're pulling cast members from different grades. This is a little different for you. This, this is year. definitely different for me. I have the usual kids from 9 through 12, but I also have playing 
My Michael will be a fifth grader from Con Area Catholic. Playing John will be a seventh grader from Geibel. And playing Mr. Darling will be an eighth grader from Geibel. Plus, I do have 20 kids in grades four through eight serving as pirates and islanders from the various elementary schools throughout the diocese. So that'll be another treat. Yeah. But it's not unique for the part of Peter Pan to be played by a female. No, the Peter Pan's been played by a female since 1954. Yeah, with so that's Mary a... Martin, Kathy Rigby, right. two of the most famous. Yeah, so that, that's it. That's it. Somewhere from the past, I used We are here with Gracie Rodriguez, and Hi. Gracie is playing the part of Peter Pan. Hello, Gracie. Hi. Yeah, are you excited about this role? I am. I definitely am. This is my first title role in a show, so it's a little bit nerve-wracking, but it's super exciting. And what grade are you in here at Geibel Catholic? I'm a senior. A senior. Excellent. Yes. Other shows that you've been in? Um, so I was in The Little Mermaid freshman year. We never got to put it on because of COVID, but I was Alana, a mer sister. And then last year I was in Chorus Line and I was Cassie. And then last year I was also in Legally Blonde and I was Brooke. Yeah. Peter Pan's a big change from some of those shows. Yeah. 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 Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Are you looking forward to flying? I am. I definitely am. A lot of people have asked me if I'm scared and honestly I'm just like... Yeah. YOLO. Whatever happens, yeah. happens. <laughs> now, do you do any dance outside of here? I mean, have you taken dance lessons? And, okay. I've taken dance since I was three. Yeah, how about gymnastics? Because that's part of that, huh? Um, I took gymnastics for a little bit. Okay. I realized that I like dance a little bit more. Okay. So, so you're prepared for the role. Yeah. I like to think so. <laughs> yeah. What do you like best about this, this role? Um, I think that it relates a lot to my life right now because I'm growing up and I'm going to college and being Peter Pan is kind of like a sense of like a ch like the inner child, you know, being okay. like, oh, I don't really want to grow up. Yeah, none of us do. No. What's the story? Growing old is mandatory and growing up is optional, I think. Is exactly, what yeah, yes. So, yeah. Well, I wish you well on the role. I'm anxious to see the show. <laughs> thank you so yeah, much. You've got, you got a few more weeks to prepare. Yes, thankfully, yeah. Yeah. Well, so. Break a leg. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Just to repeat the dates and times, just so folks can Okay, our watching. dates are April 15th at 7 o'clock and April 16th at 2 o'clock, and we are at Connorsville High School. And that's a Saturday and a Sunday. Saturday right? night and Sunday afternoon. Excellent. Well, Nick, I wish you well. Break, break it, a leg it. with Peter Pan. I appreciate and it. And I'm lot. looking forward to seeing you fly. Thank you. It sounds good. Thanks yeah. for your time. I you're appreciate welcome. it. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. And now, you're in the know.